goal of this activity is the same goal as every business to make profit. Profit, profit. profit equals what? Now tell the person next to you. What is the equation? Really easy. Where to go? It's one times one. One times one. Look up here. Look up here. You know there's only two ways, and that's it. Every business knows this. There's only two ways to increase profit. Mathematically, tell the person next to the two ways. It's right there. One of the two ways. And it says there are only two ways to increase profit. You can't blame total revenue, which is increase total revenue or decrease total cost. And it, that's that simple. Every business is either trying to increase its revenue, decrease its cost, or both. Because that's how they make profit. We're going to be making a giant tower, each group of four people, out of toothpicks, eyes on me, toothpicks. And the little marshmallows, not the big marshmallows. That's what you're using to build a tower. And the goal is to make it as tall as you possibly can. That's the point of the activity today. Good. Um, the goal in keeping in mind is to make profit. So if you have a giant tower like that wide and it comes up and it's super tall, that's not a good idea. Why? Because you've got to keep your cost down. Like you want as much height as possible, but you want to keep your cost down as low as possible. That's good. You want to know where you make money. I right, so here, take a look. We're trying to figure out how can we get revenue, the first one. Okay, take a look with me right there. It says, revenue, price every inch below four inches is $1,000, right? The price of every inch above four inches is $2,000. So if you understand this, we know the person next to town. If you make a tower that is, not to scale, eight inches tall, tell the person next to you how much revenue is that. Make sure they understand why already go. Go, 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 go. How much is it? $4,000 times $1,000 each grand total. Four thousand. Don't talk over me, please. Over here, the other four inches times two thousand. Right, because every inch above four inches, two thousand grand total, eight thousand. The entire thing, twelve thousand dollars. Good. That's not your profit. Why not? There's also cost because we're trying to make profit. Right. The goal is to make profit. So if we could, right below it says um, integrity bonus and strength bonus. There are two bonuses. Say two. 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 Everyone say two. 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 Here they are. One, integrity bonus, if it can stand alone for 10 seconds, you get another $2,000. Now, just to get any dollars at all, the thing's got to stand for three seconds on its own. So, you get one, two, three. Then, if it falls over, fine. If it started as like eight, like seven inches, and as I'm counting, it goes one, two, three, and starts to fall, I'm going to give it how many it had at three seconds. So, it went maybe start seven and fell down to six, and then it falls over, you get six inches instead of seven. Does it make sense? Cool. There's another one, strength bonus. If you can hold a sheet of paper on it for five seconds, okay, with that whole thing falling over or losing losing height, then you get another bonus, which is how much? Look again. Three thousand. Right? So keep those in mind as you start planning. Good. Let's figure out now where our costs are. It says fixed costs, your overhead. This right here is your rent. Okay? Every team will have one of these. It costs five hundred dollars. Your tower needs to be built on this piece of paper. Good. Does it matter how tall your tower is? No, you pay five hundred dollars, but you had no tower. Unless you had a huge tower, you still pay the same cost. That's why it's a fixed cost. Does it make sense? Fixed cost what? Yes. Cool. Awesome. Good. Property tax is another hundred. Insurance is another hundred. And in this case, and only this case, I'm going to say labor because I want the fixed cost to be the same for every group to be the same. So let's just say I'm paying, or we pay twenty-five dollars for each worker. There's four workers. I want you to put a hundred dollars for labor. Normally it's not right. Normally to produce more, you need more workers. In this case, let's just put a hundred. Awesome. Good. Next, opportunity cost is always actually variable. In this case, I would say it's fixed. Right? If you need to produce a taller tower, you need to spend more time on it, which would be a bigger opportunity cost. But this time, let's just say you know we put a number on it. What else would you be doing today at twelve forty one? What else could you be doing? You could be going to school, but you are at school. What else could you be doing? You could be working. You could be riding a bicycle. That's very true. <laughs> Good. Let's say you could be working, and each one of you could have been helping somebody move, and let's say you could have made $25 in this hour that you are now producing um, marshmallow towers. So let's say four people, $25 each, let's say $100 opportunity cost. Please write that down. Notice that's a cost, right? We're calculating your economic cost, so it has all your implicit and explicit. Good. Please calculate your total fixed cost. Tell the person next to you how much it is. Pretty easy. Ready to go. Cost for variable resources. One toothpick is 100 bucks. One marshmallow is 50. Clifford Consulting, I'll come by and tell you some ideas. In the beginning is 500. Unused material, so if the end, I tell me, hey, look, if you get a bunch of toothpicks just lying around at the end, not being in use, right, then that's gonna be $50 each. And if you break it, 
Do you break toothpicks? You can use them. If you break them, that's fine. If you want to break them, that's fine. But if you break them and don't use them, set them to the side, that's going to be $200 each. Also, if we notice there's some marshmallows missing for some reason, <laughs> right? Another $200. Does it make sense? Say yes. yes. Good. Awesome. Take that paper, turn it to the back side. Again, show me your learning and having fun. Show me you're doing both. Back here is the most important thing, especially for the purchaser. This is an invoice. Okay, this purchaser, when they come by for me in your groups of four, they're going to have this thing, thing filled out before they come talk to me. They come up and be like, oh, I need 14 toothpicks. And I'll be like, where's the paper? And they say, don't have it. They go to the back of the line. So it says right here, you write toothpicks, quantity is eight, individual price is 10 for a total of 800. And then we're going to add these things up, add up your fixed cost, that gives us our total cost, subtract it from your total revenue, and boom, the goal is to make profit. Keep that in mind. The goal is not to make the tallest tower. The goal is not to make the tallest tower. Why not? Yeah, your goal is not to make this huge, giant tower that costs you millions of dollars to, to do. The goal is to make the tallest tower with the least cost, right? So keep that in mind. There's a couple things I want to mention before we start. Number one, you can buy from me over and over again, right? It's not just a one-shot deal. So I'm going to be up here. You're going to be in groups of four. If you want to buy 10 toothpicks, you can buy 10, then go back and sit back down. If you need a, little, a few more later on, you can come back and buy them again. So the same thing with marshmallows. Are there other questions about how this works before we start talking about what we're going to make? How much time do you have? Great question. 15 minutes and that's all. 15 minutes once I say start and we'll move it. Great question. Heather? Um, yes? How much time do you plan? About five. Good. Here's what I want you to do. Turn back to the front side. It says at the very bottom, design number one. What I want you to do, don't lean over your partner because they might be your enemy in a few minutes. I want you to draw, design, or what do you think, a blueprint of what this tower should look like to maximize revenue, minimize cost, costs. The second you get in groups, I want you to talk about who's doing what role. That's the most important thing. Don't talk about what's build this kind of tower. Talk about who's doing what before we start talking about what you're going to build. 30, 38 seconds, ready and go. Let's see what we got. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go.